Okay, so we are creating the self-care menu. So the first thing I recommend doing is coming up with a list of 10 to 15 items um, that are self-care items for you. So they're not for somebody else, they're for you. Something that brings you joy and happiness. Um, things that you do uh, for yourself, um, like yoga, for example, um, maybe meditating, uh, maybe journaling, um, maybe even just sip, sipping and having a hot cup of coffee in the morning. That's something that you do uh, for yourself. So you really want to come up with a list um, of things. Uh, for example, I kind of have um, everything broken down into specific items. So rather than like working out, I want to be very specific. So I have listed here, I've got yoga, for example, and I've got running, and I've even got uh, snowboarding, cross country skiing, biking, climbing, all as separate items. These items for me are self care items. Uh, it gets me out of my work, out of my environment here, uh, working from home or at the spa. Uh, and it gets my mind focused on something else. I consider a working out activities um, huge for self-care for me. It also gives me a rush of endorphins. It, um, it totally distracts me from what I'm, I'm doing um, if I have the energy to, to do or perform those activities. So the idea of breaking it down specifically is when you're in need of picking an item off your list, you don't want to have to make decisions. You want to eliminate the amount of decisions that you need to make. So if you just put working out on your list, for example, then you have to brainstorm what are you going to do, what do you feel like doing, but if you, everything is already pre-broken down for you, it's very simple to look at the list and pick an item off the list. So I highly recommend that you break everything down further, but start with 10 to 15 items and then look at your items if you were to write down, for example, working out. Well, what does working out consist of? And then break that down further into the individual activities or types. Um, for example, I might even have relaxing on here. Okay, well, what consists of relaxing? How do I relax? So for example, I might put um, taking a bath. Okay, take a bath. I might also put on here a shower but I like to uh, add something special to my shower so that it feels self-care to me. So I'm gonna put with shower steamer. I use those shower steamers, we sell them at the spa, it's not a plug, but um, specifically to just add that smell of aromatherapy while I'm in the shower, I think it levels up my self-care rituals at home. Um, so it's something that I enjoy doing the same way as if I'm going to take a bath I'm going to use some bath salts or some magnesium flakes or these sorts of things um, To really step up and make me feel like I am taking care of myself So I might even specify that with taking a bath using salts soaks on here Again more specific the better it just eliminates all those decisions when you're in time of need for example, you've had burnout and you're maybe even feeling a little sad. Uh, sometimes I've even felt depressed. You don't want to have to think of things to do. You want to look at your list and grab something off of the list very quickly. And so if it has details specifically of what has worked in the past for you, um, and if you're not sure if this is all about jumping in and trying something new and it's self-discovery, which I absolutely love. So a big part of this challenge is literally discovering what might work for you, what's on your list, maybe try something out, doesn't work, cross it off, add something else, replace it, or level up. So for example, you might have had bath or shower on the list, and now you find that you do need to have something in the bath, like a book or an audio book, or maybe you want silence or a particular type of playlist you might put together. So you get really granular with your list um, of what works. So now we have our list. So for example, I have 25 items on my list. Um, I've come up with 25 items that I feel that are self-care items for me. Um, and I've put very specific parameters around um, them so I know exactly what I mean by that item on, on my list. Um, so I'd like to, to suggest taking it a step further. So now that if you've come up with, I would suggest a minimum 10 to 15 items. If you've got 20 to 25, amazing. Um, so what I would suggest doing next, once you've got your list of items, is breaking them up into four categories. So this is where I call it the self-care menu. And create your categories um, basically on 
I would suggest feelings. So when, for example, I'm feeling um, like I need to fit in some self-care, but I have, I, I'm feeling like an activity, um, I'm feeling active. So active might be one of the categories on my menu. And then underneath that, I would pick from my list and move all of the items that are active under that section of my menu. And the reason for creating the menu with four different categories is so that you can kind of, um, when you're needing self-care, reflect on the feeling that you're feeling and then pick an item from that section. So again, it just helps eliminate even more decision-making. Um, so I might even put a section called, for example, burnout. I know when I'm going through burnout, I, I might have low energy levels. Um, I might have feelings of sadness. I might be a little bit more emotional. Um, maybe there's even some anger or frustration in there. So I don't really wanna challenge myself to something that might be under the active section. So under maybe a burnout section, I might list um, the activities like meditation, um, getting out in nature, going for a walk, um, yin yoga specifically, that really helps me. Um, whereas a flow yoga, for example, would be under my active list. So I can, even though I've got yoga on the list, I've broken it down to two different types of yoga that work for me and they're in two different categories on my menu based on what I need and that um, and how I'm feeling of the self-care item that I might grab. Um, so I really recommend that you break the menu down into four categories that work for you. I'd suggest the categories, again, you can change and evolve this as you, as you go, but that the category is based on some sort of feeling or something that you would call, um, how, like when you're going through self-care or you're plugging in self-care onto your calendar, how would you generally feel and what would you pull from, if that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions if I'm not explaining this properly. Um, but basically, if I'm feeling burnout, I usually need to unplug and relax and unwind and do things that are more subtle and soft, um, like taking a bath, that yin yoga sort of thing. So I'm going to put those under that section. Another section I might create, for example, um, I'm going to put curious. Curious is a word I use a lot. Um, when I need self-care, that I'm feeling like I'm stuck. Um, or that I'm being challenged on something, I generally lean towards things um, where I can get curious and learn. I find that that helps me get unstuck and move past. So for example, on that uh, curious part of my menu, I might list um, listening to an audiobook. I might also list um, watching a documentary. Um, absolutely love doing that. Uh, maybe even a masterclass could be great. So I'm gonna list those types of things under the curious section. Um, so create, be, be creative. Uh, create um, your list, and if you wanna go a step further, create um, four categories on your menu that you can separate the items on your list into and get really granular and specific. Um, once you've created your menu and you've got your four areas, um, then you're ready to start the challenge. Okay, so now we've got our list and we've got our uh, menu basically where we've created our four categories and we have taken our list and then basically divided the items into the four categories. So it's really easy to depict. Um, you're in need of some self-care. How are you feeling? You're gonna grab that category and then what under that category um, looks like something you wanna gravitate towards and add on your calendar. Um, so I have, I can also put this in the notes or a link. I ended up, I like everything to look a little bit more fancy um, versus a list. So originally I just had, a, for example, like a list and I just have all my items typed up on that. Um, but I wanted to get into the categories, so I took it a step further and I basically uh, downloaded just a free template from Canva. So I'll add it, like I said, in the notes so you guys can check it out. Um, the four categories and then the list within the category so I can simply pull from that and I'm just going to pin it on my pin board and then that way when I'm ready for self-care items I can just pick something off the list. Now this challenge specifically, um, basically what we want you to do is pick one item from your list or your menu um, each day. So it's a 30-day challenge um, and every day you pick something from your list 
you are going to submit it on our uh, Monday form that's going to go out in our email campaign. We'll also attach it below for you as well um, so that you can submit which item you chose. Um, and uh, every day, if you choose one, you are entered into our challenge if you're submitting it virtually to us. And we're going to draw uh, at the end of the 30 days, at the end of October, uh, for a winner. So if there's one winner and one person com completes the whole challenge, then they would win uh, our prize. And if there's multiple uh, people, we're going to enter everybody into a draw and then pick a name. Uh, the prize for entering this challenge, like I said, it is free to enter. You can do this from home. You don't have to partake at the spa. Um, I know the team and I are going to be partaking. I already do this, which is the reason I thought it was such a great idea. I pick something from my self-care list every day to do. I think it's very important. They don't have to be long activities. They can be short, like having a cup of coffee or journaling in the morning for three to five minutes. Um, but it's important that you take time for you. Um, so. Uh, enjoy the challenge, have fun, um, do some self-discovery. I hope you learned something. If you have questions, let us know uh, below. I will try and answer them uh, or be more descriptive for you. I will add in all the links so you've got all the tools that you need and good luck.